What is up Spartans? Batman here to give you our review of the next book in the Halo series, The Flood. Let's jump in. The Flood was written by William C. Dietz. It was published on April 1st, 2003. It is a retelling of the very first Halo game, Halo Combat Evolved. For those of you who read Halo The Fall of Reach and know that it ends exactly where Halo begins, one thing that Dietz added to this book that you may not have expected is a bunch of subplots of what's going on on the ring outside of where Master Chief is at. While the subplots don't add too much context to the overall story arc of Master Chief, it does add some nice background of what others who aren't Spartans, who aren't with Cortana, and who aren't trying to destroy Halo are going through. It, we actually see, this is one of the first times we actually see in a storyline where we get the vantage point of a covenant. We actually get a couple different vantage points of different covenants. We get one from an elite as well as one from a grunt. And we get some from the soldiers or hell jumpers even, as well as Captain Keys. If you played through the first campaign, the book will read almost as if you're just reading an extended version of that game. The script that you would see from certain cutscenes are almost identical word for word, which is one thing that obviously a lot of fans are going to be looking for. If you read the first book, Halo of the Fall of Reach, this leads directly after it. It follows as if it's a sequel to that book. Halo First Strike leads off directly after The Flood, which will be our next book review that we're going to do. And it almost acts like a trilogy between that basically sets up the events of Halo 2. From Halo Fall of Reach, which is the rise of the Spartans and Master Chief himself, to Halo being on, you know, with the book The Flood. And then First Strike ties in from the first game to the second game. I wish they would have done more books of the other franchises' games, such as Halo 2 and 3, and maybe even Wars would have been great, but they, it seems like for whatever reason they chose to just adapt The Flood. It was re-released on October 12th in 2010 with new content and editorial corrections to better fit the more modern day view of the Halo franchise and universe. While some of the reviews of the book were mixed, to me it still stands out as a great novel and a good read for fans of Halo who want to just kind of follow the journey of Master Chief through a similar journey that they may themselves have had in the Combat Evolved game. This book was not written by Eric Nyland, who wrote Fall of Reach, as well as The First Strike, which again, I think, kind of completes a Halo 1-ish trilogy, like an extended Halo 1, I guess you could say. Some of the scenes felt a little redundant and repetitive, specifically with the subplot with the other characters. Again, it was kind of nice to see other viewpoints, but it felt more like a padding to make the novel a little bit thicker, because if he had just written the script as it was for the game, it would have been a much shorter book. So it's it was a good thing but I think it kind of dragged the book a little bit, whereas with the main characters they focused on, for the most part, weren't as interesting, I think, or involved in the overall universe's backstory, such as the, the way it was written in The Fall of Reach, with it mostly focusing on Master Chief, Dr. Halsey, and Keys. And between those three main story characters, we got a lot of great content in the first book, whereas this one felt like it was just to add a little bit more. Overall, I'd probably give this book a 7 out of 10. It's a good read, but if you played the first game, it's it's just a trip down memory lane, which can be good or bad, depending on how you like the subplots. For me, it was this is actually the second time I've read the book, whereas with The Fall of Reach, I loved it so much that this last time I read it was probably like the sixth or seventh time. But with this one, this is my second attempt, or my second read-through. I actually did it through the audiobook. The Flood is a great book to add to your Halo collection, especially if you want to get the Master Chief's perspective and maybe his exact actions during the events of the first game. And the way they describe the Flood is very horror science fiction, and I really enjoyed the way that they did that. That's all we have for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. Thank you for listening to TST Gaming, and until next time, just play.